A plug-and-play AI 360-degree conference camera supporting all the meeting platforms that you use could be ideal for your online team meetings. Let's inspect. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Michael and it's so inspiring that we have the chance to discover fresh and cool tech together. Um, in the past few weeks I have the chance to explore a lot of web and home surveillance cameras and after that a company called Coolpo reached out to me and asked me <laughs> to try out this massive thing which is whatever they call the Pana 360 and happens to be an AI based online meeting web camera which is quite unique as you can see it's uh, quite a big thing and it's AI based because when there are a lot of people around the camera, when somebody's talking, the artificial intelligence algorithm is going to analyze and put the focus on the person or the people that are talking. Kind of sounds familiar because we've already tried something similar, but this here is very simple, very reliable, has a lens with the capability to show kind of a 360 view. Pretty nice LEDs, you should come up any moment, there we go. And all about the rest, we're gonna try out in the next minutes. It's quite an expensive investment and while maybe not that suitable for a one-man show, I think this is the almost perfect team meeting or remote presentation hosting tool that is a lot better than your average or premium webcam. Let's unbox and discover more about the scale, the design and the included parts and also the specs. The box is quite massive. Taking out the device, here's the full official name, AI Huddle Pana. Cool Pope Pana probably, sounds a little easier. It all starts with the user guide. I agree, user guides are sometimes boring. Why would you spend 30 minutes reading all these pages when you can spend three days trying different things and discovering all about the great features by yourself? This was a joke, by the way. Okay, charger, the USB cable and this big, big camera. The bottom area is a speaker. Top side is hosting the capacitive touch controls and the lens compartment. There's a rubberized cover. In the process of filming, I lost it twice. Luckily, I also found it twice. But be careful not to lose it because the lens is prone to scratches if you're not careful. Given the fact this camera is meant to be used in conference rooms, it will be static, but having some protection is always better than having no protection. Since besides the power button and the ports at the bottom, there's not too much to highlight, let's jump over to the tech specs and find out what's special about this unit. 4K maximum screen resolution, a 12 megapixel 1x1.7 inches image sensor, automatic image balance adjustment including contrast, sharpness and exposure, 4 embedded microphones, support for both Windows and Mac OS, configuration app and beautiful LED indication at the bottom. This is the Pana AI camera in a nutshell. Since we're now prepared to what to expect, let's figure out the thing with the installation, which by Coolpo is advertised as plug and play and really simple. Uh, in a matter of fact, here at the bottom, uh, we've got... Uh, ah, there we go. The cap. <laughs> the cap fell down. I told you it happens all the time. So uh, here we've got a USB port. It's a type A port and uh, the powering cable. So all you gotta do after connecting both things is to get the other side of the USB cable and link it to your computer. It could be Mac OS or Windows based. Wait for 15 seconds until all the drivers get installed and you're good to go. And so far, given the easiness of this experience, I would say, yeah, pretty easy to set up. As for operation, microphones seem to do a very decent job. Maybe I can even show you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the kind of the way the microphones sound. Of course, the further you are, the more echo these microphones are going to bring, but I would say rather good quality for a web camera, don't you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to use it with your favorite video conferencing app, let's get Zoom for instance. Go to settings, make sure that both video and audio are set to Coolpo Pana and you're good to go. Of course, if you have a preference for another external microphone, feel free to use the video source only. A thing that surprised me in the good way is how bright the picture is when the room is dark and how good the dynamic range is. The last term is associated with the ability of a camera to correctly expose and represent very bright and also very dark areas from the same scene. The better the camera, the better the dynamic range is. 
I've tried the AI capabilities as well. The so-called meeting flex technology works good about locating who the presenter or the speaker is and zooming in. Since the sensor is 4K capable, there are plenty of pixels to help achieving lossless zoomed-in footage. I noticed that for a single person, the auto mode may not be the greatest option, but luckily there is a software to let you fine-tune the settings. You could switch between a few different modes, single, dual, multi and auto, and know that switching between these modes is not possible through the buttons. We also have a way to hide the panoramic section at the bottom. For a single or two people conference, I prefer to keep it off, but if it comes to presenting a chart, lesson or many other participants, then for sure there are good reasons to keep it on. Very nice is the option to be able to adjust and adapt the image according to your preference, and I think it may also be an awesome tool for podcasters looking for an easy way to record video from one single device. True, the algorithm may sometimes do weird things, but the way having one video source with multiple views is unmatched in terms of easiness. Also, inside the PC tool, we have a section for firmware upgrades, picture tuning and customization, and even performing microphone tests. Nice feature is the mute function. When the microphone is disabled, the LED is going to switch from blue to purple. While using and testing the camera, I have the chance to attend a few meetings, so also I've collected a list with some drawbacks. There is no audible tone when changing the volume, and that's an idea for Coolpo to change in the next firmware update. No support for remote, no smartphone app, only 60 degree vertical field of view, so if you go over the lens, it won't follow your face. And last but not least, the easy to lose protective lens cover. Generally, very good performance, an excellent image quality with a few minor drawbacks and some things that Coolpo may improve by pushing a new firmware update. This is how I can sum up the Pana 360 and to me it looks more like a corporate presentation or meeting helping tool as opposed to a home web camera due to the optimized towards multi-user AI-based meeting flex tracking technology. It's been quite fun to try this camera out and what do you guys and girls think? Practical, useful, expensive or maybe all of them together? Let me know if there's any follow-up question. I'll be glad to help and thank you so much for watching this video. If you find it useful then please think of a way to show your appreciation by supporting the channel. To me, it's been an honor and privilege to explore for you the Coolpo Pana. Wish you a splendid day. See you very very soon.